I'm dyeing my hair today with this natural hair dye. Hi everybody, thanks so much for stopping by the homestead. Well, the homestead bathroom. Uh, my name is Sarah from Living Traditions Homestead. And, uh, you know, several weeks ago I did a video when I cut my hair and I was talking about how I uh, still, I do dye my hair. I, I started going gray when I was about 30 and I, I started dyeing it um, when I was working in corporate America. I would go to the beauty salon and have my hair dyed and cut and it was really expensive and uh, tons of chemicals in my on my skin going into my body and I just wanted to find um, a a cheaper and more natural source for hair dye. Uh, I'm 41 years old and I'm not quite ready to just uh, give all of that up and just be gray for the rest of my life. At some point I probably will, uh, but not quite yet. So I mentioned in my previous video that I've been dyeing my hair naturally and I found something that I like well enough um, and I wanted to dye my hair today and um, take you through that process with this product that I've started working with and let you see how it works and, and how it turns out and that kind of thing. Um, so I just want to introduce to you the natural hair dye that I've been using. Now, um, I have no connection or affiliation with this company. Um, I do buy this through Amazon, so you can go to our Amazon store um, and take a look at it and either buy this one. They have a variety of different colors, uh, but the brand is called Light Mountain. Uh, that is the brand and uh, it's a it's natural hair color and conditioner. This color for me is dark brown and that has been working well for me. And uh, on the back there are just a bunch of different colors that you would get from uh, from Light Mountain, all the way from neutral um, as dark as black. Now, I'm not sure if they have a blonde, um, a, a blonde version. Um, I think that neutral is probably the closest to blonde. Now, the the primary dyes in this one, uh, there are two primary primary uh, natural dyes. One is henna, uh, which turns things red and the other one is indigo which is actually blue that's kind of freaky huh blue uh, so the combination of these and whatever proportion they're using that's what dyes your hair dark brown um, I'm looking at the ingredients here you guys that's really all that's in here I promise you the first ingredient is indigo the second ingredient is henna that's it so you don't have to worry about all the other crazy stuff. Um, I'm going to use half of this because today I'm only going to be doing like the root section. Um, I let my hair grow out pretty far farther than I probably should because I'm super busy on the homestead. Um, so I'll probably be going back, you know, several inches, but my entire hair doesn't need it and I don't want to uh, waste the product if I don't need to. Um, so I'm going to be mixing up half of this and um, using it to do my roots. Now, I wanna let you know that there is a ton of product in here. Um, I did all of my hair the last time before I cut, you know, six or eight inches off of it. I did all my hair and I still had a ton of product left over. So I feel confident that using half of this uh, is going to be plenty of product to dye my hair. Uh, so let me get started. I'm going to open it up and show you what's in the package and then I'll uh, mix it up and, and show you the consistency that I'm going to use. Um, I do want to let you know that there are a lot of great ideas online uh, through YouTube and through other people's um, experiences with this. There are lots of different ways and lots of different product, not products, ingredients that you can mix into this henna to do different uh, things to your hair. I'm only using water. Uh, some people use coffee. Some people mix in other things like, you know, mayonnaise and things to make it thicker. I'm just going to use water. Um, I'm a pretty simple girl. I don't have a lot of time um, and I, I don't really want to do a lot of monkey business. So I'm just going to mix half of this with some water. Great information online though, great information on YouTube from other uh, YouTubers, so check those out. Okay guys, this is what it looks like, this box. Um, and I'm going to open it up and show you 
what it looks like. So here's the henna powder stuff and it's green and when you make it it's green. It's not this light when you uh, mix it up but it is definitely green. There's a lot of product in here. Okay. Comes with instructions which I uh, definitely advise for you to read really carefully um, and there's also a really good video on YouTube uh, of somebody that's somehow affiliated with this company and it comes with um, it comes with this plastic in here that you're going to use to put around your hair after you have it all done to keep everything still wet and uh, warm so you'll use this this is like attached on the inside of the instructions and then it also comes with gloves which you know I recommend that you use um, you know so it doesn't get under your fingernails and stuff but what I found is that that this henna stuff mixed up doesn't stain your skin and stuff as much as standard hair dye uh, but I, I do still recommend some kind of gloves whether you want to use these gloves or if you have other gloves that fit you better uh, but I think it's nice that they include them just to help you you know protect your skin and stuff so I'm going to actually I'm going to go split this in half um, by weight and then in here and then I'm going to come back and start mixing it up with you guys I measured out two ounces of this. There's four ounces uh, total in here. And so I measured out two ounces. And um, I hope that you could see, but that is still, that's quite a bit of powder in there. Uh, so I'm going to add some water and uh, start mixing. Now the consistency of this, it, you want it to be, um, Kind of like a thin yogurt. You definitely don't want it to be on the dry side. You want it to be on the wet side. Otherwise, it's going to be very hard to um, to put put on your hair. Now, one thing right away that you will notice if you try this product is that it doesn't smell so terrible. Um, it really just kind of smells like, uh, I don't know, like dried grass maybe, or definitely dried leaves, uh, dehydrated fresh dried leaves rather than like fall leaves. Um, it isn't wonderful, but it isn't so offensive and terrible um, like the chemical kind. If you really wanted to, you could probably use a stick blender, but I'm not too concerned about it. So, um, I don't know if you can see how thick this is or not, um, but it's like, th it's definitely thinner than pudding. Uh, probably on the side of a, of a thin yogurt. So, I'm going to just let that sit while I get other things ready. Okay, you guys, before I get started, I'm going to take my hat off and I'm going to show you how much gray I have. Now, no judging, okay? I've got a lot of gray. And I have hat head. Okay. So hopefully you can see, especially on the sides, that I have quite a bit of gray. And uh, that's the primary thing I'm trying to grow up, uh, cover up. You see right there? Let me take my hair down. And in the back, a lot of times here, you can see how gray I am. Um, but it would be an awful lot more work for me to do my whole head, see, than just doing, just doing the roots. So that's a, kind of a before, let me see, a before shot. Okay. Now, one of the weird things about um, using the henna dye is that you have to start with wet hair. If you've dyed your hair with commercial dyes and stuff and at the beauty salon, you know that you start with dry hair and dirty hair, right? Uh, so uh, with henna, I don't know why, uh, you need to start with wet hair um, and wet clean hair, but no conditioner. You can't use conditioner. 
Uh, so just shampoo only and rinse it out and then, um, you know, comb and, and brush through your hair. So I'm going to do that and then we'll get started. Okay, so I have clean hair. It's still wet. Uh, it needs to be wet when you put it in. I put it in this bun. And before I get started, though, I'm, I need to protect, like, the skin and stuff around here, my ears and the back of my neck and things like that, uh, so that if there's some dye on there, it won't... Um, it won't stain my skin. Now, when I've done this before, I really haven't had a whole lot of problem with it staining my skin. Uh, but what it will do is it'll it'll color any of your tiny little hairs that you have up here, um, you know, along here. So if you have any hair at all, like down in like this area, <laughs> if you don't want sideburns, uh, you want to cover that uh, with some uh, petroleum jelly or something like that. Uh, some thick lotion. I have um, like homemade salve, hand salve, and so then I'm just going to put that all around here to protect uh, my ears and, and the back of my neck and stuff like that, that I don't want um, any of my little facial hairs or anything to, to uh, get dyed. Now, uh, you know, Okay, the next step is to really just to get started going. Um, one thing I need to make you aware of is that during all of this process, when you're mixing, when you're applying it, when you're holding your hair back with different, you know, pins or, you know, hair ties or whatever it is, uh, you absolutely cannot use anything that has metal in it. Uh, apparently, the metal will react uh, badly with the henna hair dye um, and cause some kind of reaction. I don't know. Um, so no metal utensils, no metal brushes, no metal pins and, you know, bobby pins or whatever you're going to use in your hair. Uh, so I'm just going to, I'm going to take my hair down. Sometimes I, you know, put sections of it back uh, to keep it out of the way. Uh, this time I just am just going to get started. I don't want to mess around with that. I'm not doing all of my hair anyway, so as long as I can just part it and then put it over on the side um, to get it out of the way, that should be fine. Um, I'm also going to chance it without gloves. I feel like they are going to restrict me too much. Um, so I'm just going to start uh, with the front here. A lot of times uh, Samantha's my helper to do the back of my hair. Um, I'm not sure if I'll need her help today, uh, but she's a good helper and normally I, you know, pay her a whole dollar to help me and she finds that to be fantastic. So I'm just going to start, just going to start with the, you know, the front part of my hair. and work to one side of the roots and then flip it over and work to the other side. Okay, so um, the hair dye mix has, um, it has cured while I was washing my hair. Uh, it's supposed to cure, for this color, it's supposed to cure for 10 to 30 minutes um, before you use it. Let's get started. I'm just using one of these brushes. Honestly, you can just use your hands if you want. Um, a lot of people just dip their hands right in there and just get going. So I hope that you can see this pretty well, what I'm doing. I don't have my glasses on. So I'm pretty blind, honestly, without my glasses. So I parted my hair and I'm just using the hair brush or this uh, painting brush or whatever to put the hair dye pretty liberally um, over, you know, several inches of my hair. And I'm really kind of gooping it on there, smashing it down onto my um, scalp. Now this head of hair dye, it's not a permanent dye. So over time, it will fade a little bit. So I am going to try to drag the hair dye down pretty far onto my hair. Just to kind of freshen up what I dyed the last time. Okay, that's good enough. So I'm just going to part over, um, you know, a half an inch or less. And I'm going to start working 
down this way. Now the consistency that I have this at seems to be perfect. If you start getting going and it isn't gliding, it's just not going well, then add some more water. So I'm just going to keep going like this until this whole side is done and then I'll stop and flip things over and then do this side. Okay, so I'm done with this part and I twirled my hair into like a bun on the top of my head, the long part. And so now I need to work on just the roots of this back part here and I'm going to bring Samantha in to help me with that. Do you know what another good part about using this henna is I can eat lunch while I do my hair and I'm not going to poison myself. How are your hands not going to be get stained? You don't care. <laughs> it doesn't smell as bad as the normal. Mm -mm. Which is good because when I used to do this to use with the normal stuff, I could barely breathe. Okay, well that's done. And I don't think there is a single way for me to make this look attractive. So... I'm just winging it. Hey, what do you think of my, uh, my plastic covered glasses bows? They're metal, so I had to do something. Plus, I kind of wanted to protect them from getting the green stuff all over it, but not one of my better looking videos. What do you think? Okay, so... Uh, the next step is I need to keep this wet and I need to keep this warm. So I'm going to put this uh, fashionable uh, plastic uh, bag <laughs> on my head. Um, if I had, I don't have like a shower cap or anything. I wish I did because I would probably use that. So I need to figure out how to put this beautiful plastic bag over my head. There we go. To keep in the moisture and the heat and apparently to keep my husband away because I am the least attractive person on the planet at the moment. <sighs> okay, so I need to figure out the best way to do this without using a metal clip and I have a plastic chip clip <laughs> for like bags of chips and I think that's what I'm gonna have to do is use a plastic chip clip to keep this secure look at do I look like an alien or one of those old ladies from like the 50s and 60s that had their hair up in rollers. Ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna find a way to keep that right there. So you guys, this needs to stay on here and this needs to process for, well the instructions say anywhere from 45 minutes to four hours. But I need the maximum opportunity here because I'm covering some stubborn grays. So I'm going to keep this on here for four hours before I rinse it out. And um, I'm going to make sure that this stays warm. So I might use, I still have uh, my hair dryer from uh, like 1992. So I will probably come back every so often and warm up my head. Uh, I could also put a towel around to keep the warmth on. Um, and as much as I would like to say that, you know, from now and for the next four hours, I'm just going to watch TV or eat bonbons. Uh, actually, I have a ton of work to do, so I need to find some way to keep this secure um, and, uh, and still carry on with my life. Oh, that might work. We'll see. I might have to figure out something. Um, isn't that pretty? Okay, so four hours, you'll see me and we'll wash it out 
and uh, and take a look and stuff. So be back in four hours. Okay, it's officially time for me to wash this out of my hair. Couple things. Um, I didn't realize uh, the time had gone by uh, while I was putting this on and everything, and so I ended up only being able to have this in my hair for three and a half hours rather than four. Um, and when you wash this out of your hair, you are just basically rinsing it out. You're not using any shampoo. So rinse it out as much as you can, and then if you have a conditioner, um, available to you after you rinse it out some then work some conditioner in through all of this to help get um, the rest of the dye out it's gonna be kind of dry and crusty and kind of crunchy and that kind of thing so you're rehydrating it a little bit but you're also if you put that conditioner in there it will help you know kind of um, I don't know it connects with it and then it comes out easier um, you may know from my previous video when I cut my hair that I don't use conditioner uh, I happen to have some old conditioner uh, from I don't know an old kit of something of some sort so I have some conditioner but normally I use a vinegar rinse um, so but no no shampoo the other thing I want to tell you is um, to not be discouraged initially henna and indigo can take up to 24 hours or maybe even a little bit more for the true color to set in um, it kind of discouraged me the first time I used this hair dye uh, because when I took my you know took the uh, dye out and stuff um, the gray wasn't very different it was almost like yellow and uh, I kind of freaked out about that but don't dismay uh, you know it will darken over time and within the next day or so it will be its true color uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse all of this out and uh, comb through my hair I have to run to church to, to uh, do play practice I'm in charge of the Christmas play so I don't know about time I might not be able to show you my hair wet uh, but when I get back after it's dry, then I'll show you what it's like um, and show you kind of the true color of, like initially, the initial color, okay? Uh, so I need to get going. I'm going to rinse this out. Okay, guys, I'm back from church. Uh, my hair is, is completely dry, um, and so I want to, hopefully the camera can pick up Kind of what the color looks like now like I said before um, as soon as you take the color out you may not have the final the final color of what you're gonna see and um, so I, I want to show you hopefully like I said the camera will pick it up um, you know the, the most part of my gray is is really right right above my ears and so um, I'm gonna pull my hair back like it was in a ponytail and see if I can show you um, so it's hard for me to see if you guys can see that, but, uh, so when my hair is not dyed, this is a big strip of gray. And when I look at it and when Kevin looks at it too, he, he, we both think that what it looks like right now is just like a lighter shade of brown. Um, it's kind of golden. Um, it's darker than blonde. Um, but it's definitely not super dark brown, um, but it definitely doesn't look gray anymore. I'll be honest with you, I don't care if it's not absolutely the same color as the rest of my hair. Um, my hair naturally in the sun um, gets highlights, and so I think the different colors within my hair will look kind of natural. It looks like it's going to, you know supposed to be like that. So I will check back with you guys tomorrow and show you uh, whether or not it has gotten darker um, and then we'll talk about a few other things at that point. Okay, see you tomorrow. Okay guys, it is the next day and uh, so let's take a look at my hair now. Uh, from the front you can't really tell. Um, like I said before, the most of my gray is um, on the sides by my ears so uh, let's see what that looks like. I don't know if you can tell, but it does to me uh, look like it's still um, a shade of lighter brown. And to be honest with you, I'm fine with that. It's not perfect. Um, it's not the color of the rest of my, you know, dark, dark hair. Um, but I think that it is fine. Uh, I didn't spend very much money. Uh, I uh, could stay at home and I don't work in corporate America. And so this is plenty good 
for me. Now, uh, I do want to tell you a little bit more about this product. I saved the box. Uh, remember, I only used half of this. And um, I jumped back on Amazon and looked at my order history because I can't remember how much I paid for this. And so this on Amazon comes in a pack of three boxes. And right now, they are on sale for $16. But their normal price is only $20 for three boxes. So if you're only going to use half of this, that's really six treatments for $20. That, can you believe that? It's a smoking deal. Even if you use the entire box on all of your hair, uh, $20 regular price for three boxes is a really great deal. So it's not like you're even having to spend a ton of money to go natural. Um, it, uh, it's, it's cheap. Um, and honestly, if you think about the time that it takes to do your hair, and even with a four-hour wait time, when you're at the salon, doesn't it take forever anyway? Like, why should it have taken so long? You sit there and sit there and sit there, and is it really because your hair dye needs to sit, or is it just because they're so busy they can't, they have to, like, work you back in or something? I don't know. Anyway... Um, I recommend that you try it. You know, you see the difference on my hair. Keep in mind I have stubborn gray. Um, and so it may work differently for you. It may work better for you. Uh, but it's at least worth a try. For $20, three boxes, um, it's worth it. I, I uh, recommend it. So, you guys... Uh, I'm so happy that in my previous video where I was cutting my hair and I said, hey, you know, do you want to know about how I dye my hair naturally? You all said yes. Uh, so I'm so glad to have brought you this information today. I'm so glad that you came along as I dyed my hair and to see the real effects. Now, you know, like I said, it's not perfect. It looks light brown. Um, and if that's good for you, great. If it's not, then, you know, try something else. Um, but thank you guys so much for coming along in my homestead bathroom uh, to see how this goes. If you are not a subscriber yet to our channel, if you would go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. I'm in a mirror, so which way is it going to be? Well, down here somewhere. <laughs> Hit the subscribe button below. We appreciate it. Uh, questions, comments, go ahead and leave those down below. Give us a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't checked out our Etsy store or our Amazon store, go ahead and check those out too. Information is down below. Until next time, you guys, thanks so much for stopping by the homestead. Take care and God bless.